What's poppin' everyone? Welcome to Short Kings Talk, episode 16. We are your hosts with the most, Sid and Kelvin. What it do? How you feeling? Uh, let's take a moment of silence for our falling one. What? <laughs> we'll take a moment of silence here for, for the homie Gojo. He died last uh. week. <laughs> rest, Spoilers, dude. Rest in peace. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Spoilers. All right. Oh my god, dude. And not everyone's a freaking anime watcher. What? Whatever, man. Not everyone in the world is into Jujutsu Kaisen. Well, now they are. Oh, I guess so. All right, so today we're going to talk about... Uh, real quick, though, <laughs> for er- <laughs> anyone listening in, hey, we'd like to thank y'all. You know, I think Kelvin over here is a little delirious, but he's a little excited for the episode, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, we'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like this video, as well as follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links in the description below. So today, episode 16, we are going to talk about scary stories, murder mysteries, unsolved crimes. You know, as we're approaching Halloween, we figured we'll get a little spooky. <laughs> <laughs> and um, stay tuned because episode 17 the following wednesday we will be talking about our personal scary stories and uh kelvin over here got you know a plethora (laughs) of scary stories scary they're just yeah so tune in we're we're not gonna uh you know tease anything just wait till episode 17 so let's get started with this episode so do you know any let me ask this do you know any like i guess folklore uh like chinese folklore that you know of you know, scary stories that you've been told as a kid. Not really. What really? Like, nothing? Nah. No no weird, like, myths or nah. traditions? Really? No, not- no. Dude, Philippines got tons. I'm sure Chinese people have it. I just don't. You just don't yeah, know any? Okay. Know any. The ones I do know about it are uh, the white lady uh, on Balete Drive. So, basically, there's just, like, some lady in a white dress that tries to stop you and ask for a ride. But then once she – or once you pick her up – then she kills you or something. Ah. What is that? That also like scares me because like that's the number one thing that scares me with scary movies. Like anything that has to do with some paranormal chick <laughs> scares the crap out of me. So that's why the ring and the grudge and shutter. <laughs> there's no way. You know, like after the tsunami in Japan like a couple years ago? The one in like twenty ten, that one? Or okay, is more, there... yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> more than a couple years ago. Uh-huh. So like there was like reports of people um you know like the the people who died in the tsunami okay and then they were saying like the some of the locals could actually see like the ghosts still right whoa and then there's like videos of people like um taxi drivers like stopping okay and then like someone getting into the taxi in the dash cam and like no one was there no but they way. would like they would still do it as a way to like get them to move on to the next world and stuff like that yeah, yeah. so like as a taxi driver like a ghost would pop in like hey can you take me here yeah and then and they then- would do it yeah Really? Or like there were there were stories. It's on Netflix too. There's like uh, stories. Is there of people, a series about this? Yeah, they okay. would they would knock on your door in the middle of the night saying I'm cold, and I'm wet. Do you have dry clothes? Whoa. Yeah, and then like they would let them in That's the house. Wild. And then They bring in the clothes and they disappear. That's crazy. Uh, can you find out the name of this documentary? So for everything that we're uh, we're we're talking about, we're gonna provide any as much links below just for y'all to peruse through and like get scared on your own you know looking through your phone or laptop it's it's Walk. called unsolved mysteries on netflix yeah but what's the episode called tsunami spirits there you go yeah okay so it's about the tsunami in 2011 yep. 2011 yep. there you go yeah i remember my high school did like a like a relief like a uh, talent show yeah about it but but it's crazy right because like in the west like bro like if i pulled over and there was a ghost like i'm shooting Oh, you know, like, really? Yeah, but in, like Japan culture, they're like, oh, like this is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. Okay. Help them so move on. <laughs> let's say you do encounter a ghost. Like, what if they're what if they're not malicious? What if you think they're chill? Just no matter what. Also, are they, are they wait, bulletproof? Hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're all like ethereally. Like, you can't. You wow, can't. silver bullets. Isn't that for vampires? Oh, shit, right. Oh, <laughs> can't dip it in the holy water. I don't know, man. What was the one that uh? Let's, Constantine let's, uses. <laughs> oh, the the gun with the cross. I guess. Oh, I think that's some cartel. Sh- <laughs> I think uh, that gun was just blessed. You know, <laughs> I think that was just it. Yeah, like going into the Halloween theme real quick. Uh, any of these like 
basic Halloween tropes, like what do you believe in? So you know, like werewolves, vampires, zombies, like whatever, Zom- zombies. Wh- witches. Yeah, yeah. What what do you actually believe in? Uh, do you believe in werewolves? Let's no. start there. <laughs> you don't believe in uh Team Jacob? No, yeah. I don't. I do not. That that sounds dumb as hell. <laughs> you don't believe in vampires that sparkle? No. I, Did you see that meme? Like you the, mean like monsters? Like do I believe in any monsters? Yeah. So do you probably believe, like, like Bigfoot? The, like the boogeyman? So Bigfoot. Do you actually believe in Bigfoot? I think you think it's just like some like some, six to seven foot like yeah. guy who just just, just wanted, chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just, just wants to be nomadic, yeah. and then yeah. he just let himself grow, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. someone's just like, <laughs> oh, "Who's that?" <laughs> exactly. What about Loch Ness monster? Do you believe in that? No, like a little serpent. Ah, oh, no. Okay, because they drink. They they did the sonar thing, and then it's like okay, yeah. vampires. You don't believe in? You don't believe in? No, I don't believe in vampires. Sucking yeah. blood or something. I wish they existed. Why? They're bad as hell, dude. They're, vampires are just goth chicks with sharp teeth. <laughs> I thought they already have sharp teeth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just a goth girl with sharp teeth. That's right up my alley. And then they, they can't go out in the sun? Yeah, that's fine. I guess. Then we want to take her out. It's all good. All right. I I guess so. What what else is like a weird monster? I, I want to see what else like monsters that you actually believe. Okay, zombies. Do you actually believe? Zombies? No. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you know the... Uh, it's like some, some nerd... <laughs> did like some analysis of like if there was a zombie apocalypse uh-huh. and they're like oh with our modern like weaponry uh-huh. it'll be like taken out in like 10 minutes flat like it wouldn't be an outbreak like yeah the, but that's you know our country's like army yeah. but like when you're trying to protect yourself oh. i'm not strapped <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i have a sword i'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be like that one chicken walking dead who just like, has a katana <laughs> yeah your katana is not even sharpened it's not as blunt as fuck, yeah. My hope is, like, if I ever use it, I'm just going to swing hella hard. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Okay, look. I have, I have like, a, a pocket knife and a butterfly knife also in my... But you don't want to get close because they're going to bite you, and then you get turned. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. This is so random, too. Like, in Big Bang Theory, there's a big argument. Like, what's the difference between a mummy and a zombie? It's basically the same thing, right? No. Yeah, because yeah, a mummy is like someone who passed away and then they were mummified. Oh, I was thinking about like the movie. You know how like there is sand. Like no, big... no, 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 no. With Brendan Fraser. <laughs> yeah. No. I like that mummy. I'm sick. Yeah, but then no, like the mummy where yeah. you're like wrapped uh, up. Yeah. What's the difference between a zombie? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Sheldon Cooper enough. just made the argument like if a zombie bites you, you turn into a zombie. Yeah. But if a mummy bites you, you just get like an unnecessary bite. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. I feel like mummies are more dried up too. Zombies always look always look wet, you know. Yeah. They're all nasty and decaying. Mummies all tidy because they got exactly. the embalming stuff. Exactly. So they probably smell like honey. You never know. Yeah, dude. Or like, like a, rosemary. Like a sound healer in L.A. You know, <laughs> some of those hippie girls. <laughs> I guess so. All right, moving all right. forward. So we have a couple uh, stories that we are going to talk about throughout this episode. So again, these are all just like unsolved murders, like you know, weird spooky stuff that we just found online so i wanted to start off with like something like a little light something like personal stuff or not personal stuff like stuff that happened in my hometown so there's a haunted hotel in stockton it's like straight in downtown stockton but apparently a lot of businesses try to rent this hotel and then shit always goes down yeah like, yes yeah, yeah. Like, so basically this hotel it's literally like smack dab in the middle of downtown stockton and it's just been abandoned oh so time. it's like good real estate actually yeah okay. yeah yeah like if you look up like hotel stockton you see how it looks like yeah. it looks legit it's like a corner spot you know big building ah. but every time a business um uh, opens either there's a story about they hear someone walking through the hallways or and then I read on this one website that uh, sometimes you hear like a ghost pianist, like oh. you just hear keys. That's where I'll like I'll hell a freak out. I'll probably cry. I'll probably call someone. A ghost pianist? You know that? Sh- you know that that freaked me out in the Galleria. There's like a self playing piano. There is. There yeah, is. Yeah, 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 in see, the middle. See, like I'm not cultured. I didn't know that kind of thing existed. That's that's been existed. Yeah. I know, but I'm <laughs> I'm saying I'm uneducated. <laughs> so I walked by. It was like late. I was trying to get return some stuff on the Amazon store. I was like, what the hell was that? I got pull freaked out, the hell out. Pull dude. out your strap on an automated piano. Layer. I would blast. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. 
No, that's, that's not that, that's yeah, too that's scary. Good. And then uh, another one I want to talk about is uh, the stuff that happened during the uh, filming of the first Exorcist film. So, have you watched the first Exorcist? Yeah. The 1970s one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. No, you didn't? Oh, wait, you don't. Because I'm a weenie. So, yeah. I've, I've only watched, like, Exorcist of Emily Rose. And then there's another, like, kind of recent-ish one. Oh, there's a there's one that's coming out, right? Yeah. Cause, I'm not watching that. Well, I did the maze, like, last week at Universal. Was it cool? No, it was super lame. We'll go get that later, yeah. <laughs> Anyways... But there were some occurrences during the first filming of the first Exorcist film. So let me pull up the article real quick, which, again, will be uh, available in the description below. And while you go click and find out, go ahead and subscribe. We need it. Both our mental health. <laughs> so apparently uh, nine people died uh, like uh, during production of this film. And two of the actors died before the film was released. And it says, interestingly enough, both characters uh, also lost their lives in the film. So, ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the other film, right? Like Poltergeist or something like that? Like everyone died like a year ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, these occurrences. And then apparently uh, once the film like aired in theaters, like a lot of people were like convulsing or vomiting. Really? Or yeah, yeah. But you got to think, this is the 70s. So That's I think, true. I think because uh modern cinema was advancing really fast where like all these effects started looking kind of real yeah yeah remember when uh, star wars first well we weren't born but when star wars first came out everyone thought like oh man that was that was it yeah yeah yeah, Yeah. like dude it looks so real it's crazy or something have you ever seen those like old interviews where they would ask like how many times have you watched uh, star wars like 75 times i'm like that yeah yeah i watched a movie like twice at most and then I'll be like, all right, moving on to. <laughs> yeah, I thought the effects were whatever. <laughs> but then I again, it was cool. we, I we got it. it like I got it for, for the seventies. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Like I was like, all right, like th- this is cool. Same with Blade Runner. You know, first time. Yeah. Yeah. This is like this is like uh, another tangent, but there's this 1920s film called Metropolis, and just knowing that it was made in the 1920s, and if you like see it, you're just like, oh wow, this is crazy. Like v- very ahead of its time. It's black and white. You know. Just music only, no dialogue. Yeah. They didn't, you know, the Italians didn't put uh, Americans on game for uh, dialogue. I thought you were going to say they didn't put them on game for color. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know who started, like, color first. It's like 40s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe us Americans, like, started it. Yeah, who knows? All right, so uh, what story do you have that you want to talk about? Before yeah, uh, uns- yeah. unsolved mystery, something. So whatever. stories is interesting. So when I lived in Utah very briefly, uh-huh. um, I worked with a bunch of Navajo Indian Native American Navajos, right? And then they were like, I mean, that's that was a PC thing. Did I say Indians? The, the oh, Indian? yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, Navajos. Anyways, yeah, yeah. right. Um, they all, so we were supposed to go camping one night, right? Okay. And then I declined because not because I'm scared because I don't like to camp. Yeah. Right. And then they just they were like telling me about like skinwalkers, and I was like, "What the hell are skinwalkers?" Yeah, isn't that us? <laughs> <laughs> no. So like apparently in like Navajo um, like legend, right? Okay. They're like these like creatures who would like morph into oh, you. So like, yeah, shape shape shifter, right? Okay. Something, and then they like hunt like people out in the desert and stuff people were stranded and oh stuff, so. okay but i always thought that was weird because like it wasn't like uh it was like mo- you know it's modern day and people are still scared of like going out into yeah, the yeah. thing cause because like, of that and they're like oh it could be like anyone it could be look like your friend and whatever and stuff and yeah. then i actually looked it up and then there's a place in utah called skinwalkers ranch whoa where there's like a lot of sightings from um the locals like and suppose stuff. Well, yeah supposedly and then yeah and then, like nat geo did an episode on it but you know yeah so are you the type that if you're around like these like scary areas like would you go i would go there's no way dude no there, no <laughs> no well even you have weapons you wouldn't go no 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 because <laughs> like i you never know what if i actually like shot myself in the foot or something <laughs> <laughs> stab myself in the leg <laughs> But no, that that's scary. Okay, so isn't there like a bridge here that's say haunted? Oh, you're talking about suicide bridge? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not haunted. People just commit just suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is that uh, when I first moved here, I just knew about it as suicide bridge, mm. and then it wasn't until a couple of years ago I was like, "What's this bridge actually called?" And it's just called like Colorado Boulevard Bridge. I'm like, "Oh, that's suicide bridge." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. 
Okay, no, I wouldn't. So let me say this, like for example, so you know we're both going to Japan in a couple weeks. Uh, actually, when this episode is uh, comes out, we're already there. Yeah. So you know how Logan Paul went to the Suicide Forest? Yeah. Would you go to that? Yeah, I want some souvenirs, dude. No, what's a, what's a souvenir like a free? <laughs> I don't whatever's in the pockets. <laughs> Nah, dude. No, nah, that's hella disrespectful. I'm just joking. I would go just to see. Nope. 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 But they're dead. D- yeah, but their their soul lives on, man. <laughs> yeah, but they're, are they? I feel like they're I just, feel like they just wanted to end it all. You know. I like, feel like Asian ghosts are the worst kind of ghost. Why? I don't know. I've seen the movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's just a language barrier, because they either, always be haunting white people. <laughs> They just try to ask some questions. Either Asian ghost or uh, American ghost, specifically from like the Northeast Coast, <laughs> in Baltimore. No, like no, that's like that's like the South still. Like no, like Connecticut. Connecticut ghosts. No, because that's where uh, they drew inspiration for like the Conjuring and stuff. Uh, There's that oh, house. There's yeah. that house. Oh, you know, like that. It's what, a legitimate house. That those kind of movies did. They, they are creepy. Like the the one set in like the Puritan, like that kind of. I just Era don't like stuff? any of this scary stuff. Oh, yeah. No. No. No, right. no, no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, in that Connecticut house, there apparently there's like this chair that's nailed uh to the ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah, because apparently like if you unnail it and you set it down, like whatever demon or whatever like that possessed the chair is gonna sit down immediately. So that's why it always has to oh. stay on the ceiling. That's there's like a whole house about this. Yeah. It's freaking scary. I will nope, not going. You can't set preset the ground on fire and then. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not willing to risk it for the biscuit, man. Yeah. So, like, if you were to go back to Utah to the Skinwalkers Ranch, you would. I wouldn't mind. Really? I'll go, yeah. I'll carry a couple extra mags <laughs> during the day or at night. Just vote. both. Yeah. Well, yeah. So if someone paid you like ten grand, like stay I'll here overnight. It. I'll do it. Really? Ten k. That's easy. Ten g's. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what what does the skinwalker look like Anna de Armas? And it's like a I knock 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 moment. Knock knock moment. Just uh knocks in like your cabin or if you like end up just staying in your car, just like, oh I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what's the next story you want to talk about? Do you see that meme? What that meme? one meme? Like going back to that, just one last tangent. It was like uh that one meme was like uh when you asked your extraterrestrial friend like for the seven thousand time to turn to oh, Anna so <laughs> and they're like please stop <laughs> that's gonna happen <laughs> again <laughs> like a scroll yeah. oh man all right all right <laughs> so getting a little informed okay so this is probably one of the most infamous unsolved murders uh-huh. in the u.s okay uh, in the recent times and they uh, they made a lot of movies songs about it um there was actually a band the Black Dahlia murder. They're like a rock band. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I never heard yeah. of them. Yeah. So, uh, so it's, a, it's called the Black Dahlia mur- a murder. The girl's name is Elizabeth Short. Okay. And she was born in like the 20s or whatever, right? Uh, she moved to the... So I learned about this during like criminal science when I was in college. Like just a random history class or something? or No, I was trying to become class? a... FBI profiler, so it was crim- criminology. What the hell? I know before <laughs> before you be- became a DPT. No, before I realized they make no money. <laughs> they don't make a lot of money, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, okay. but you could be like no. So like, I actually saw TNT. like not just like you know like the pictures you see on Google, right? Uh-huh. They're like very tame. Like okay. I saw crime scene photos yeah. of all a lot of these murders. Right, right. They right. were like intense. Dude. I was like, man, damn. yeah. But yeah, the, so the story is this girl moved to California in her teens. Okay. You know, trying to be a movie star in the 40s, yeah. right? When it was lived booming. The dream. Yep. Yeah, I lived the California dream, right? And then she was like known to be a tease, right? So it was like she was like pretty looking. Um, she dressed in all black and like oh, kind of okay. like that kind of gothic look. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess, right? So they, mm-hmm. her nickname was like the Black Dahlia, right? Mm-hmm. But and she's she, very flirty. She's very flirty. And okay. the thing with her was she's intersexed. So she doesn't have a complete genitalia. So she doesn't have a full vagina. She's kind of oh. half, half, right? So she can't reproduce. Was that just like a birth deformity? That's a birth deformity. Oh, okay, so she okay. Inter- she's like half, half. She doesn't have a complete penis or vagina. Wait, what? She has both organs at the same time. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know organ. about that. Yeah. I thought she just had like a, a closed vagina. It's closed because it's like half penis, half vagina-ish. So oh. for intersex people, they never have a complete... They're, they represent one sex. So it's, there's not oh. like... They don't They don't look like a guy or a girl. So I guess like before like the second chromosome becomes an X or Y, it just like stops there like midway or yeah so they're like Ish. oh this is a big gina <laughs> like, oh. like that yeah whoa 
Okay, okay. Yeah, so she, you know, obviously you can't really have sex if you're intersex, right? Right. That's very interesting. Yeah, but she was very flirty. She was very pretty, right? So a lot right. of guys would hit on there and then they're okay. trying to take her home. But obviously once they get there, nothing happens, right? Because, you know, you can't really enter or... I wonder you... how she, like, plays that off. I know, right? Yeah. You, would you be mad? I'd be hella <laughs> mad, dude. What the yeah, hell? Six drinks, yeah, let's go back to my place. Espe- yeah, especially if, like, she comes to my place, yeah. I'd be like... You take oh. her pants off, she looks like the fucking mannequin. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing down. At least what? give me head, like. Oh my god! <laughs> right. What but, do you think that? What if that's just her move? Like, oh, I'll just give you head, and then you'll be good to go. That, that's cool. That's Unless cool she does me. butt stuff, like I know. her her butt wasn't like closed off, right? No. no it was oh, just bad. then. Yeah, it's a bunch of weenies. They're yeah. not willing to take the dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but go on with the story. Yeah. Yeah, we're making this hella serious. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right um yeah but then uh i think uh the date was the date january 15 1947 okay so they found her body in uh, Lamar park which is right over here by like culver city ish area in la okay and then um the way they found her body was like really disturbing that's why i made national news so uh they cut her face ear to ear like keith ledger joker whoa okay called, i Ooh. learned that was called a like, glasgow smile okay yeah. And then they drained her body completely full of blood. Okay. And then they made an opening in the vaginal canal uh-huh. where it's supposed to be. Yeah. And then they bisected her body in half. Whoa, like completely. Yeah, like just half. Whoa. And like everything was drained. Where did they find her body? Like in the bag or something or? In the bag, yeah. Oh it's my God. Mu- severely mutilated. And like that, I think that was like the one, you know, back in the 40s. Yeah. It was like emergent serial killer time. That yeah, was like yeah, when yeah. serial killers were kind of going crazy. Yeah. But like they haven't seen that level of like brutality in a corpse. That was yeah. Like the first probably time. ever. So, yeah. yeah. So that was like super sensationalized like all over the news. And they never caught the person. That's wild. Yeah. That's crazy. So, so like that guy must be like hella pissed. Like, well, I can't have none. And then just like went psycho. I feel like it has to be more than that. Yeah. Like this is like very... I feel like yeah. this is like some ve- very like dated vendetta. You know, you have to really not like a person to go right. through all that trouble. Oh, that's it. and then you said before recording that, um, like they showed signs that uh, the vagina was severed, like like post mortem. Right. The, every, they said everything was a uh, post mortem. Really, everything was post. So she was killed first, and everything. And else. everything happened, and then they transferred her body into the lot. That's yeah. That's freaking wild yeah and you saw photos right yeah those those photos were even though they're black and white bro no but still <laughs> they're, if, they're it's, if it's gnarly it's gnarly yeah like because you know like for if you watch like a csi show yeah and then they do the crime scene yeah imagine that with like fifty thousand times more yeah, blood because you it's can't show blood you, everywhere because you can't show that uh on like national tv or no, anything no, no, right no. yeah you have to censor some stuff so yeah. you have to you know look it up on like your own accord. yeah and like just like you know like when people are like oh like self-inflicted gunshot wounds suicides yeah and then like so it's like people don't know what that looks like but like i've, I've seen pictures in the class of people who like put a barrel in bro it looks crazy is it like it wild, is gnarly. Wild? like their faces melt you like the eyeballs like yeah dude it's, because it's hot right yeah and it's just a shotgun like blasting yeah, yeah. your face open like it's it's not Damn, pretty you imagine like being a cop and getting a call like that yeah yeah, yeah i would just be like i think it'd be crazy yeah. like to like see like so being like L- major crimes in like lapd you probably seen yeah, some yeah. shit yeah because uh like yeah not not like this is gonna get like a little serious but uh one of my skater homies like a couple years ago like committed suicide that way and uh his dad was the one who found him oh, in his room man. so like i think yeah like think about how traumatizing that would be to walk into a room and to see that happen yeah and yeah and the fact that you know how that would look yeah dude that's that like gnarly just, yeah it's crazy yeah we did like a whole like memorial skate session at the stockton skate park and then uh the homie who does graffiti like just put um his like instagram like handle on like one of like the big quarter pipes over there yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. r.i.p jeremiah man but dude that yeah that's that's, that's wild yeah. so like the suspects they never found anyone that was even close because like she interacted with so many like strangers and yeah. stuff like that people came forward to try to cl- um claim that they knew the that, killer no that they were the killer because remember that was what? serial killer time like people were trying to get famous yeah but why would you want to be famous as a serial killer and like that's like al-qaeda you know whenever there's a terrorist attack they're like oh we did it but then, uh, like, yeah yeah, but yeah. A lot of people a lot of people came forward 
and then when they interrogated them, they didn't know a lot of the facts. So exactly. They were like phonies, right? So, why would you want to be famous that way? Because like, let's say like you, you uh, you'll get famous, but then you'll just be interrogated hella. You'll probably be behind like bars, you know, like, and then just police like surveilling you all the time. There was another guy who did that. He like confessed to like a hundred something killings. Did he actually they, do it? No, it, it was, was all so it was all full cool yeah. fabricated. But he was like really good at like getting context clues from cops oh. when they were interrogating him. Yeah, and yeah. then like you know, kind of like the palm reader kind of. Yeah, people, yeah, right? yeah. There was like a documentary about that guy too, and then they were like, "Wait, he didn't kill anyone. He just oh. wasted someone's time." But he he loved it because he was like yeah. on national TV right, and right, like right. all that notoriety got yeah. to his head. He must have great people skills to just read like yeah, really, just, yeah, just be like just to know like a good salesman. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what's your Not- why? What's your why? <laughs> what's your why? <laughs> why do you yes. want to be a cop? <laughs> Why do you want to arrest me? <laughs> I guess so. Um, yeah. No, that's crazy. That's like, so that was, I think that was one of the most gruesome unsolved crimes. Yeah. The crazy thing is like, since this happened in the 1940s, that means the person who killed her is probably dead by oh, now. Oh, yeah. Because she was, she was born in the 20s, yeah. right? So yeah. someone like, yeah. she was young back then, right? She yeah. was in her 20s. So it was like someone older, the way yeah. they're dead. Hypothetically speaking, so let's say like you were the killer or you were someone like the Zodiac killer who also hasn't, uh, been revealed yeah, yeah they never caught him uh let's say that you you've done all these like murders and then you were never caught and you like got to live the rest of your life and then if you know you're at your deathbed would you just take it to the grave or would you like write like a will be like yeah i did this stuff what would you do i, I would confess yeah and the will yeah if i was dying someone yeah, yeah. Did, there's a lot of people that do that right I've heard a couple that, you know, I they never were, heard of anything they like, were that. like, yeah, I'll, I'll Google it later when you're talking. But yeah, I'm, there was a couple that I saw on yeah. more Netflix documentaries. That, yeah, like, yeah. They were like on their deathbed. They were like 81 or something. And uh-huh. they could finally confess to the crimes that yeah. they did and stuff like that. Whoa. Yeah. Same with that one. Um, Who's that one? Uh, That one black kid that got accused of rape in the South. Oh, uh, Emmett Till. Yeah. No, that was what I was then, like, I was thinking about that when you said like, yeah. you saw like these photos, like, because yeah. I've seen his photo yeah, after oh, he bro, was beat. Yeah. yeah, that was gnarly. That was gnarly. Yeah. But yeah. then the white lady came out before she died. Yeah. And, yeah. So like that. Saying like, yeah, he never did. Because like people, you know, they are like, oh, I need to confess or I'll go to hell. Not like, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be spared anyways. But like, you know, they're like, they're trying to make peace with their right. death. So they would. Yeah. And if you're at your deathbed. You have apologies. nothing to lose. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll probably do that. Like, I'm my best bet. I'm like, I used to shoplift as a teenager. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like, I killed Tupac. <laughs> oh. oh, they they found this killer dude, today. Dude, yeah, yeah. They, I, saw, I, saw the, I saw the post. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I feel yeah. like it's still a lot of speculation. Like, I don't, yeah. Again, you know, I don't know anything about forensics. Yeah. So I don't know how. You think it will be harder to get away? Like, a lot of the stuff was we're looking it up. They were dated back in, like, right. 60s, 70s, right? Yeah. You think it, the advance of DNA and all the stuff we have now make it really hard to, like, actually get away with stuff like this yeah 100 yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah for sure especially with you know like there's cctvs everywhere yeah. and then like social media you know it's it's crazy how people can find the killer like have you ever watched a, def- a netflix documentary uh don't fuck with cats yeah yeah so it's like that yeah, yeah, yeah. can you can you imagine like you just like make friends with people on facebook yeah. and it's like dude there's like this d- creepy dude like making videos yeah. and then you find out he's like a murderer yeah and then you find him that's wild to me. That's like the dark web stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's like if us, like, you know, we're just like, like on Instagram, it's like, oh, like this person's posting weird. And yeah. then, like, you know, they're the, whole, the, in, the internet detectives, man. They're crazy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> especially great. now. Especially now. Yeah. Everyone is an FBI yeah. agent at this point, you know, <laughs> the power of Google, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Do you know about the severed feet mystery? No. What's that? So let me pull up the article real quick. So in 2007, uh, at the Salish Sea in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, um, I guess there was like a patron walking along the beach, and then like for some reason, like some shoes would like pull up onto shore, right? And then she would pick up the shoes, only to find out that these are just like severed feet, Damn. like the feet Ankle are still, and all. yeah, are still yeah. in the sh- yeah. shoe, and then. That's never been solved either. And uh, apparently there has been a reported 21 shoes that pulled them into the pairs, like both feet. No, no, no. 21. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So like if both my feet were severed, then it's two. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. And it's crazy because like apparently all these like shoes were like running shoes. So you never Uh, know if like someone was just. 
hiking they can then they yeah exactly they, they call them yeah, yeah you're not gonna see some like w- would you cop though off? if someone had some like 1985 chicago's <laughs> would you be like yeah that's <laughs> that's that's mine <laughs> If it's nine and a half, <laughs> <laughs> I probably freak out because again, I like I'm also a hemophobic. H yeah. E. <laughs> no, but when they wash the shore, it's all it's all it's all gone. Blood's gone. I don't know if like I. A, this is why I can never work in healthcare because I don't think I could deal with that. No. I, yeah, I think I'll freak out just to see a severed foot. Uh, like, like, it'll, it'll be like all blue and shit. Right? Yeah, no, there's no, no blood. Yeah, but can you handle that? Dude, they're 1985 Chicago's and they're in good no, 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 oh. no. Oh. <laughs> if you like grabbed like like a dead foot, yeah, I do. I transferred uh, cada- uh, dead people all the time when I was working in the hospital. Yeah, nah, so nah. I, I saw Ooh. someone die. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't. Like I, I can't, when I my think... uh, when my fiance's grandpa died, uh-huh. I I was one to carry them onto the stretcher for the ER. Whoa, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like so desensitized to yeah, I'm not, dead bodies and stuff because yeah, of my we'll get into that next episode <laughs> like yeah, I, know yeah, we, yeah. I don't even care yeah so we can't tease it <laughs> yeah, like yeah because episode 17 yeah. is gonna be good man yeah, like yeah, there, yeah. there's some stories i'm so there's desensitized bro <laughs> i'm not yeah i'm an innocent soul <laughs> <laughs> okay. no yeah. that's crazy though that this hell of feet just washing up a shore yeah and they they never yeah, found man. the like the correlating bodies yeah. with it Whoa, oh just the feet yeah just the feet crazy dude so that's yeah, that's that's wild. That's fucking wild. Nineteen eighty five. Chicago's there, man. That I don't know. <laughs> the first thing you do, you you ever call a cop? You check the tag. What size is this? <laughs> Nine and a half. No. Ooh, ooh. Like VNDS. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, on this article, uh, it says uh, one foot belonged to a missing fisherman, and then the other of a depressed man who probably committed suicide. Mm. I think the second sentence is like a little weird, like. I mean, I, I guess if you can, like, connect the bodies, but then just to say, like, depressed man who probably yeah, committed suicide. That's, like, like, you, that's a reach, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that, that just, reminds me of the... just assuming. Uh, uh, what's that, I think called Argonauts. There's an app called Argonauts, right? Um, it gives you... So it's like a TikTok thing. Yeah, Argonauts. So it's... Um, you have an app. They give you random okay. directions. And it's like for people who are bored as hell during the pandemic, they have nothing uh, to do, right? So yeah. they're like, go here, these coordinates, and then you'll find a thing and you're supposed to take a picture of it. Whoa. And then people, how, that's how they got the house, right? Yeah, yeah. And then one of these people, I think it's like two, three years ago, again, during the peak of the pandemic, these teenagers went to a spot and they found a suitcase. And they immediately knew there was something wrong because it would smell like shit. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And then they called the cops. And there's a video on TikTok. And then the, co- then they, they, then the cops opened it. It was um, a bunch of body parts of a oh. that just stuck in there, and I was just like, "Damn, dude!" Who who are the the the, the developers of this app to know where that's okay? No, no, they don't know, but it's just random. It's like it's from like some. Still. Yeah, it's like an algorithm, like you know, it's just like a Pokemon Go kind of crap. Dude, that's it's finding a suitcase like that. Just Will, like, would you ever uh, do that? Like, do the Argonaut thing? I, it's I like, mean, let me just drive. Did you do it? No, no, no. I don't. I don't like to waste my time like that. But okay. a lot of people found cool stuff. Yeah, oh, but maybe, all people found some crazy shit too. They're like just some hella, satanic circle. They're like, oh, what the fuck is this? if you're just hella bored, like on a Sunday, you and it's, it's during lockdown, so nothing was yeah. open, right? Yeah, yeah that's. I nine. don't like to walk. That's too many steps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. All right, one more. Uh, one more that you want to talk about? Um, a lot of these are like pretty tame. Again, these all go back to like the. 50s yeah and something yeah we like, couldn't find any like freaky scary stuff it's not you know like, yeah it's like we wanted freaky. to find like something unsolved it was we were on some about paranormal unsolved. activity yeah. type stuff yeah but it was just like serial killer stuff you know yeah so we when we talk about this one like the jameson uh family disappearance okay so like the the story is like in oklahoma i mean the 90s or something okay um this family was like moving they're like trying to haul ass out of there they put all their belongings in the in the truck, right? Okay. Well, 2009, actually, right? And then they found a bunch of cash in that truck. Mm-hmm. And then, but like the bodies were not there. Family completely disappeared. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was like dad, the mom, there's like a six year old uh, daughter. And, and they, they never like found a, the bodies? No. Yeah, and then they, no, they, they found the truck with their phones, IDs, yeah. uh, all their clothes, 32 grand in cash in 2009, which is that's a, lot. a lot. After, yeah. after the crash? Yeah. Like, yeah that's... Dude, that's a lot of money, man. And then they found their dog in the truck too. 
Oh, just like panicking, just alone or something? Almost dying. So like yeah, yeah. Uh, malnourished right, as right, fuck, right, right. but still alive. And just, dude. Like, you know, but yeah, they, they found him and then it's like, dude, nothing. They don't know yeah. what happened to him. And people are like, his na- the neighbors are like, oh yeah, they're like dabbling in like witchcraft and stuff like that. Or, wait, 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 where were, where was their truck found? In Ohio. Oh, in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they moved from Oklahoma to Ohio. No, no, sorry. They're in Oklahoma. They're, they found their truck in Oklahoma. No, no, but where? Like at their home? Like were they on the road? They're on the road. They're moving. There was like a plot of land near a place called Red Oak. Okay. Yeah, and then they, they were like near the mountains. Mm-hmm. And then they they found this truck with the, all their belongings, a dying yeah. dog that was like... Um, probably like days probably or weeks. Probably like, yeah, days or weeks without food. Yeah. And then they all they did was they found the surveillance footage of... The family moving the stuff inside the truck, Uh and then they just drove off. They looked like they were on a mission. Like they were like, "Oh, we gotta go!" Like it wasn't. It wasn't like a planned move. It was like grab everything we can and we gotta go. Like now. Yeah. That's what the surveillance showed. And then like, people, the neighbors are like, "Oh yeah, they were like, they had some like bipolar disorder." And then some of them said they were dabbling in witchcraft and occult stuff. But you know how crazy neighbors are. Yeah. Also, yeah, Oklahoma. Like when you're in. Yeah. Like middle America, like middle of nowhere. Yeah. Nothing goes on. Yeah, so yeah. no traces of them found. And then I think like five years later, they found like um, the remains of two adults and a child, but Whoa. couldn't be identified. Where did they right. find the body or the skeleton? Like three miles away from where the truck was. Like in a ditch or? No, just like in there. They were like hunters in the area. Oh, okay. And then like, you know, their dog smelled something. They went That's there. That's crazy. And then they, they put it in the lab there and they couldn't find anything. Mm-hmm. And then they, I think they sent it to a forensic lab later. Mm-hmm. And then they semi-confirmed that it might have been them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think happened to them? I think they were running away from like some kind of criminal, like drug bus gone wrong because 32 grand in cash that's you know it's like yeah you, know, yeah, you don't yeah. really carry that kind of yeah, shit yeah. in your house you know it's like some ozark stuff. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so they're probably running away from cartel or something okay and then they got some they green got clothes caught got caught yeah caught because up. like only their bones were found right yeah. so you, yeah. you couldn't find any like well i mean I that guess, was five years later i mean of course it yeah be. so like no like blunt trauma no bullet holes that like, you no. couldn't see any of that yeah. yeah but they were like the the way that they left with all that cash mm-hmm. probably like drug really yeah, yeah yeah you don't think of witch, witchcraft or anything no Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> you can happen. You never know. And then, like, people the, are into like, weird stuff. And, like, if there was an attacker that caught him, the dog wouldn't be alive. Oh, yeah. Right? Because yeah. the, the, the dog would be for one of the first things to go. They should yeah, dog, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the fact they left, that means that they, they, they ran out of gas somewhere and they just hauled ass. They're like, we got to keep going. But oh. they left all their shit, too. They're just running away from something, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I wouldn't leave my dog, though. Yeah, dog yeah. coming with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dog can run too. Yeah, he got four legs. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they were that panicking, I guess. But it's like you know, it's like nothing really supernatural about it. I just feel like they got yeah caught up in some shit. All right, let's get into a a real freaky one. Okay. Let's get into the Cecil Hotel. This one's like this one's crazy. That one creeped me out when I saw the video. Yeah. So there is a Netflix documentary on this and. Around the time that uh, this happened, like it was like going all over. I I found this out on Tumblr. Where did you find out, or did you YouTube. find out YouTube. from YouTube? Yeah. Okay. I saw the raw footage on YouTube first. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh, Elisa Lam. So this happened in t- uh, 2013. Yeah. So Elisa Lam uh, is a girl from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. And she decided to vacate in L.A. like anyone would. You know, L.A. is a chill travel destination. And she decides to stay at the Cecil Hotel in downtown L.A. Let me just pause it right there. Who stays there? (laughs) Like, I get it if you are like a college student and you're on a budget. But if you look at photos of the Cecil Hotel, oh, it is run down the hill, exactly. Bro. It looks yeah. busted. It does, and it it edges Skid Row. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's already peculiar as is. Yeah, you know, there's there's no way because I've driven past the Cecil Hotel. Like it, you would not stay there. No, there's yeah. no I way. I would say a Motel Six, bro. <laughs> yeah, either yeah. that or I'll just do a, a a room at an Airbnb or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. or um. Have you ever, do you know about couch surfing? Like the app? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have you ever used it? No, that's how you lose a kidney, bro. <laughs> dude. Oh, no, hell no. Dude, have you helped, used it? I've used oh, it once. God. This is like, it actually worked out in my favor, but then what happened before that, 
was hella funny. So real quick, I'm going to just tell the story about couchsurfing. So if you didn't know, I don't know if this app is yeah. still, like, goes on. So couchsurfing is where uh, if you are a low-budget traveler, uh, there are people who offer their couches or sometimes they have a mattress in their living room that yeah. you can just stay for free or a really, really, really low price, yeah. right? So this was my first travel trip ever. Like, like the moment I started getting, like, you know, a little money, I decided, like, all right, let me start traveling. So yeah. I, I wanted to do a Boston to New York trip, right? So I traveled to Boston first. And, uh, yeah, I didn't, uh, the reason why I used Couchsurfing because I was supposed to stay with a friend. But he ended up moving back to California like a week or two prior to me flying there. Mm-hmm. So, like, last minute, I, you know, didn't have money for a hotel or anything. Went on couch surfing. And then uh, I inquired to this one guy saying, hey, like, you know, I'm just traveling. I'll be in Boston for, like, four days. Um, you know, it'll be uh, – hopefully it's cool if I could stay in your, like, living room. And then he, like, messages me and goes, uh, like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, just letting you know I'm gay right and then i reply back i'm like yeah that's cool just letting you know i'm not gay yeah. and then he just blocks me, <laughs> like denies super denies me and then the second guy actually accepts me and then uh he's actually still a friend to his day like we follow each other yeah. on instagram like uh, i've been to boston i think about three or four times now and i, I always try to like link up with them oh, nice. okay. like yeah we hang out at the that's bar cool. he's been to la yeah. we hang out at a bar too it's like so it's at least it worked out in my favor yeah right so there was that there's like uh there's people do do house swapping like that too what do you mean house swapping because well, i had to do that when i moved um on internships okay so it'd be like hey like i'm in california i have this apartment i can't sublease it but if you need this apartment from like may to i don't know september right Uh uh-huh i have it open i just need something from like florida that's why i need it right oh and then they will like you know ask family or something so like you find an arrangement to swap apartments for a couple months so you could go don't not do the subleasing and airbnb yeah yeah yeah. because like your apartment's already there you're already yeah right what what website did you do this through um not a website on facebook groups so like there's one oh. for like traveling medical like, yeah yeah, people, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay 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 so, but it was like yeah, organized it was nice yeah yeah, yeah that's cool yeah okay so kind of like you that. had a good experience i never went through with it because no oh. one wanted to stay I, I used the airbnb and i stayed in like the roughest part of freaking florida oh. <laughs> <laughs> like drive-bys and freaking what, broward county or what pembroke bro. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the roughest but it was pretty rough yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's adjacent something. anyways right. back to this uh cecil hotel story um yeah so uh the reason why she went viral is that there's this video of her like moving hella weird in an, in the elevator there, right? And this video is in our uh, description. So there's a link there. You can go to watch it. And she's just like really moving in and out of the elevator. She's like hugging the corner. And then she, she would, looks like, like she's out. Yeah, yeah walk she out. Looks she like, like she, down the hall and she would like dance back in. Oh, exactly. Yeah. She was moving really, really weird. Yeah. 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 And next thing you know, she goes missing, right? And then a couple of days or weeks later, um uh current guests were complaining about like low uh water flow yeah. and then the water tasting weird and sometimes the water would be like brown black, or yeah. black yeah so maintenance went up to the roof because that's where the water tank is and her body was found inside yeah. w- the water tank it's decomposing right? all that yeah, yeah exactly which is crazy and this is still an unsolved mystery. Like no one knows what happened to her. It's it's just it's not funny, but it's yeah. just like you know if you can you imagine like people just getting complaints. Like, hey yo, your wa- the water tastes kind of funky. You're like, and you're at the staff of the sea, so you're like, yeah, this is how it is. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of run down there. <laughs> so they ignored it until it was like super yeah. bad. Have you seen her Tumblr? No. So her Tumblr. Well, I might have. Yeah, it was, I think it was part of the documentary. Right. Know, you watched that. But her thing was, like, I'm not good at French, no, Novel, no, whatever, like her, her Tumblr before. Okay. Uh, I think it was still active back when the okay. documentary came out. And it was like, her thing was about like, she posted a lot of quotes, like all Tumblr girls. Yeah, yeah. A lot of like fa- fashion. She was like into fashion right. and like traveling and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But like it, it kind of gave the uh, kind of like, the me- it gave a window to her like mental state. Right. Because you could see that as she was approaching her trip, her mental state was declining rapidly. Because of the post that she was no, it's just like because she was like posting her how she was feeling every day, right? Oh, and then you okay. could see that like she was kind of like having like 
um, like these identity issues, and then she was like talking about her relationships and with her family is not great and like all that stuff. And then oh. like uh, she wrote about like how she was super excited to go come to California, mm-hmm. and then she, uh, she, you know she posts about it when she was at the hotel too. Yeah, and then like. At, but then like she started posting like weird stuff like right super depressing stuff yeah, yeah. that she was in the uh, during her trip right right and then the creepy thing was it's not creepy anymore because you know people probably queue up a bunch of posts right days in advance yeah like we do right mm-hmm. but then like after she died like her tumblr kept spitting out content oh it still kept yeah posting. it kept going for months so well i didn't know about yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's was, weird because i don't think you could wait can you automate posts on tumblr like that with macros yeah Really? Yeah, not not as a feature on Tumblr, but you could set up scripts too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. okay, okay. Yeah, that's you were savvy enough. Yeah, but it was like people were like yeah, a lot of the wild. internet detectives were trying to like psychoanalyze her post. Right, right, right. Because people were trying to figure it out. So, what do you think happened to her? I uh, think the, the ongoing theory is she was on she was bipolar. She yeah. was on a lot of meds and she stopped taking them like three days into her trip. Okay. And then she just had a psychotic. Not psych. She had like a episode. Right. Like hallucinating and stuff like that, and then she. I guess she she thought someone was chasing her. So do you think that she was like just tripping out and then thinks that someone's chasing her and then like ran herself into the water tank? Because apparently to escape, like I, I know, like it's very hard to get there. Yeah, yeah. apparently the water tank is like really hard to open. Yeah, it's yeah. very heavy, right? Right. And to just get roof access is difficult. Exactly. Yeah. So it's something yeah. must have been like really bothering her. To, That's what I'm she saying. Was running away from right. Yeah. Yeah. So you do you think this is self inflicted? You think that she was just off meds and then she just ended up drowning herself? Yeah, I mean that's the most likely thing. Really? Like, yeah. Or you think like someone murdered her and like lifted it? You up, never you know. know. Yeah, that's true. You no, never you know. Press kid, bro, yeah. right? Yeah. A lot of people also uh, thought that this was part of the elevator game. I think it's a little far fetched. Yeah. This is kind of like just like one of those myths. So there's this thing called the elevator game, and apparently, like if you do this, you get to enter a different dimension. Uh right so you have to start on the first floor so let me read it out so once you enter the first floor you have to press the floor buttons in a certain order so it's four two six two ten five and when you reach the fifth floor you might meet a mysterious woman don't look at her or speak to her because she's reportedly not human and could take you away then press the button to the first floor if the elevator goes up to the tenth floor the ritual works when you enter the other dimension, it'll look like the building that you're in, except you'll be all by yourself. And at this point, your electronics may not work and the lights may completely go off. And then to return to your world, you'll, you'll need to press the same buttons that you took to get to that other dimension. Right? It's like some Stranger Things upside yeah, 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 down yeah. thing. So that's okay. why I think it's like very far-fetched because like there's like, you know elevators are a modern advancement like who creates like this weird like oh if you yeah yeah do, like exactly cheat code gta cheat but it's, code like, it's like it's one yeah. of those food for thoughts like oh yeah. that's kind of freaky and apparently if something goes wrong with uh the order that you go into these floors uh-huh. you're supposed to step out but you can't turn around because apparently there's like this like like interdimensional demon that's also in the elevator uh-huh. And if you turn around before the door closes, then the demon gets you and drags you back into the elevator door. Oh, you're supposed to just stay, just, yeah, just yeah. keep it moving. So let's say like you, you miss the order, you, you walk out, you don't turn around, you let the door close, yeah. and then you can restart again. Uh, yeah, but then if as it's closing, you turn around, then... Who the hell wants to play this game? That's what I'm saying. Uh, even I wouldn't do that. That's just dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want to go into no. a... Do you, do you know about the government conspiracy behind their murder? There, there's, no, no. there, there is, uh, even though the uh, social media doesn't like our conspiracy theories. So it was part of the documentary on Netflix. So I watched um, the, the that documentary like years ago. Like when yeah, it came so out. like the um, they they pretty much linked her name to one of this tuberculosis tests. So okay. the, the TB test is called Lam Eliza, L A M Eliza, like exactly just in backwards, right? Yeah. And then it, it stands for like lipo or remember, enzyme. Like, anyway, it's a test, right, for tuberculosis, right? Okay. Right? So, like, they're saying that um, the time she died, there was a really bad TB outbreak on Skid Row and in the LA area. Okay. Right. And then they're suggesting that um, her death was actually a thing the government used to distract the public. Oh, it's one of those. And, yeah, to, to a bioweapon 
tuberculosis, right. weaponized tuberculosis yeah. cover up. Yeah. Right. And then they they were like, because then the outbreaks were getting so bad, like people were like starting to pay attention. They're like, uh-huh. oh, we need to do this crazy do thing. To, yeah, to like yeah. distract the public. Do you believe in stuff no, like that? That's, that's, I that's, think that's crazy. That's crazy. Because Skid Row is always, you know. People cool. always think like once like some major celebrity or whatever is going yeah. on happens, they think like, oh, what is the news distracting us from? Yeah. They thought of that with the uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, like, something's going on, like, Syria and Ukraine and stuff. Like, they're, like, yeah. diverting our attention yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Hey, man, it's a big world. A lot of things happen concurrently. Hey, you know what, though? The um, the submarine that went under, the Titan. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, that, one, that one did come out pretty suspicious because then the law of laws passed during that one week window that like while while we everyone you know how like everyone was searching for the submarine right but the u.s navy knew that thing exploded on sunday yeah so like they the government already knew that that thing was right. gone right and mm-hmm. then but i think the media was still hyping it up until they're like oh they're running out of air on thursday yeah morning, right? yeah yeah so yeah, they yeah. knowingly put this stuff out and then during that time a lot of the bills passed about the budget and all that stuff that weren't oh. really people friendly like they're all corporate like yeah padding right so that one is kind of fishy so uh, i, I, I do get that anyways that so, submarine thing was like the quickest like meme turnover is, in history because yeah. it was ridiculous that you were using like a gamecube controller or like a ps2 Some, something ridiculous all dude. i know yeah. is like these millionaires like Build, uh fun BC. yeah built it but then um they didn't have like the proper like guidance in yeah. terms of building the submarine yeah. Yeah, so like one of my clients uh, actually works for NASA, and then he told me how they built the submarine as if like it was to go into orbit, yeah. which is different. Like it's something about I think it's like the uh, the inner lining, like metal yeah. isn't supposed to be like under. Yeah. Like there's a certain like layering system yeah. that's different from going into space and going underwater, yeah. and then they like built it as if they were going to space yeah. rather than underwater. James Cameron came out many times to like speak out against that company. Oh, Cause really? I know James Cameron was a Prior. nautical. Yeah. He wasn't, he's a nautical expert. Apparently. Yeah. He was, he's like the first to go down the Mariana trench. Yeah. Right? He only does movies to fund his submarine <laughs> adventures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he's like a super like high level expert in the area. Right. And he's saying like the shape, the banana shape would never work. Cause like the pressure is not uniform. It will right. crush it. Yeah. Yeah. So like a lot of experts came out. And was like, he saying this like way before? They were way, warning him way before. Right, right, right. Okay. Like it was it wouldn't work, and then yeah. it was just like. But these like billionaires are just like, nah, we got the money. Let's just go underwater. Yeah. What uh, it, like why did they go underwater? Titanic. They, the they Titanic, trying to see right? the Titanic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's crazy. They're trying to find Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're trying to find the necklace. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? The, about the go back to the lies on them. One thing is that is fishy. Is uh, there are sort there's many chunks of the surveillance video that was taken up by the LAPD. What do you mean? Like, uh, if you look at the timeline of the oh yeah, because it was like segmented. Yeah, there was like five six minutes missing in like key parts of it. Uh huh. People were saying, oh, they're trying to do a cover up. I think it's just because they were nothing happening during those yeah, segments, yeah. right? Yeah, because you know how like there's some videos where she exited. Yeah the elevator maybe she didn't she just return. stood there for like a couple minutes exactly right? like do you really want to watch it's that? still yeah. creepy, it creepy to watch you, you should watch it uh the, watch it at like 11 p.m <laughs> oh no was it 3 a.m that's the <laughs> demon hour that's the real demon hour right <laughs> yeah, 3, 3 a.m yeah, demon hours are sapphire that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's demon time that's demon time uh, i'm talking about like <laughs> all right all right fine <laughs> there's like a like a 11th hour where like oh, that's where like the, the most Satan. like paranormal uh, stuff i think okay. it's 3 a.m is that when the Don't Osama got me. killed? That's the Zero Dark Thirty, right? Is it? <laughs> really? <laughs> what time is Zero Dark Thirty? <laughs> I just know the director of that movie is Catherine Bigelow. It's, uh, it's 2012. Zero Zero Thirty? What is that? Wait, is that is that just 1230? It might 30 be. after midnight? Yeah. Oh, man, that's boring. That's yeah, exactly. Osama. I guess, well, it took him a while to kill Osama. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think the, the cut in the surveillance is just, you know. Yeah. Because nothing was happening, right? Either so. she was just standing there or. Yeah. Yeah. You were actually spooked though. You were like, mm-hmm. I I wasn't spooked like, oh, she's gonna come get me. But I was just, damn, that is freaky. Like the way oh, she moved okay. was very erratic. All right, let's say that there is a Cecil Hotel theme uh, maze at Hollywood Horror Nights. I would go. Yeah, would you get like freaked out? I don't get freaked out just because it's so <laughs> horny. And for my weaves out there, when you walk through the maze, it's like you have limitless because they can't touch you. Yeah, they come not- here and then they stop. Yeah. Right? For all these haunted mazes, yeah. uh, they're legally uh, not allowed to touch you. The fun ones are. Yeah, yeah. You so sign you a sign a waiver. I think there's one near Monterey. 
They, yeah, they yeah. get tortured. Like they literally, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Drag no, they, your they, ass they, they grab they, you and everything. They will waterboard they will, like, and beat yeah. you. They will beat you. Yeah, yeah. So those things have a sense of urgency. But, like, but the thing know, is, like, you can't throw hands back. You can't. Exactly. You got like the BDSM kind of treatment. Oh, you got, like, no, man I can't. I can't do that, man. I I want. It's just like a dark mosh pit. No. <laughs> That you can't do anything? That you can't do anything. You're just in the middle. Like, <laughs> At least when I'm in a mosh pit, I can stand my ground. That's true. That's yeah. Because you can, like, kind of be a little aggressive, yeah. you know? Like, if you get really pushed what, over. What if it's all goth girls, though? Hey. But, yeah, I, <laughs> but they're skinwalkers. Oh. <laughs> Does it matter? It's it's about what's on the outside, right? I guess so. <laughs> I, I, I guess so. All but right. what if they all have, like, the Black Dahlia situation down there? They're mannequins? Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're okay, all like, just give head. They're all, like, Ken dolls. <laughs> <laughs> your head with this like sh- ra- like razor sharp teeth oh like, no, 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 no 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 <laughs> hey little teeth little, no. some teeth is cool but all no, no. <laughs> it's sensitive down there <laughs> the the real uh horizontal sparking <laughs> oh my god well i think that's about it yeah. for episode 16 uh for everyone who watched or listened all the way through we hope you enjoyed that and again if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to our youtube channel as well as follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links in the description below. You can all also follow us on our personal uh, Instagrams. Mine is Sid the Chad. Kelvin is Doctor Six Pock. And you know what? Um, if you have like a scary story, unsolved mystery that we didn't mention, because we definitely had a hard time trying to find like interesting ones that we wanted to talk about. But if you had any that you know you suggest that we should like read about and stuff, don't be sending photos or something because you know send them photos no i'm gonna get scared man the, this it's not it's not the deal for me uh you have any uh, any last words any any spooky words no nah, next one's gonna be good though. next one's yeah. gonna be really yeah. good so again uh stay tuned new episodes every wednesday uh yeah episode sev- 17 is gonna be personal scary stories uh this guy's possessed <laughs> just kidding i'm on right. even time that's what <laughs> We out.